maybe you play well with your friends in the park or you play well in practice when it doesn't really matter. But in a real game, in a high pressure situation, you're afraid, you don't play with confidence, you don't play the way you know you can play. And this is a big frustration for many players. And you have to take responsibility for those thoughts. Lots of players are like, oh, I'm just not that confident or I'm always afraid and it's not my fault. It's not my fault, I always doubt myself. It's all your fault. And until you take responsibility, I'm saying that in the most productive way possible. It's all your fault. If that's going wrong, it's your fault, it's no one else's. So take responsibility. Once you take responsibility, you can change that and you can get away from all these bad habits and you can move towards being the player that you wanna be. So take responsibility, ask yourself productively, how can I change this rather than just complaining about your lack of confidence or being afraid or being scared and you'll change that and you'll move in the right direction. And just start to uh, build your confidence by making those simple plays. So if you're always afraid and scared, just say, okay, I'm just going to get it and play very simple. I'm going to play very simple today. I'm just going to get it and give it to my teammates. And over time, you build up that confidence. And the next time you get it, you'll be like, okay, I'm, I'm confident. You know what? I'm going to take this guy on. Or I'm going to play a more advanced through ball. Or I'm going to take the shot and score the goal. The tendency is to focus on the fear of failure, everything that could possibly go wrong. Okay, so all I want you to think about whenever you're getting nervous, maybe you have a big game or a big tryout or you're playing with new players, instead of thinking or having a fear of failure mindset, you want to have an excitement of accomplishment. So instead of thinking about everything that could possibly go wrong and fear of failure, fear of playing bad, you need to think about how great it's gonna feel when you do everything right, when you play well in that game, when you score that goal, when you make that tackle, when you win all your individual battles, when you're the best player on the field, when you have a great game. Feel, feel that emotion, how great that's gonna feel after you accomplish those things. And if you can go onto the field with that mindset, that energy of, okay, I'm not afraid of failing, I'm in fact excited of the possible accomplishment or the achievement that I can gain in this moment. Instead of being afraid of everything that could possibly go wrong, be excited about what you could accomplish in today's game. It starts in your mind, guys. It's all mental. Start with those positive visualizations. Catch yourself with those negative visualizations. Catch yourself with that negative self-talk. Change it to positive. When you get out there, just focus on being in the moment. Focus on the technique. Don't focus on this jerk over here who yells at you or your coach who always gets upset or the fans. Just focus on the game. Focus on doing what you want with the ball. Focus on your positioning. Focus on playing. Just be in the moment. Focus on playing. When you get the ball, know what you want to do. Either attack or keep possession, okay? And if you can keep it simple like that, there's no reason you should be afraid. And start building up your confidence by making those simple plays, and then you can start taking more risks. But this is a long-term thing. If you're really struggling with this right now, it's not gonna change overnight. You can improve it in one training session simply by making these changes, but you need to stay on top of yourself and stay okay, today I'm gonna become a little more confident, a little more confident, be a little more positive and keep moving in the right direction. And eventually, you'll never be afraid when you have the ball. You'll love to have the ball because you'll be doing productive things with it. You'll be a dangerous player who makes things happen.